that's it for the round. And so now you actually start after that initial bidding round, you actually start the game. The way that happens is whoever's highest on the income track gets to place their marker out in either quarter one, two, three, or four first. So do I want to place my marker out here and do something before the outrage level increases in Ireland? All right, as blue, if their outrage marker gets very high up there, all right, up to the fist, it is possible that the people would rebel, and if the people rebel, the most valued property here is uh, taken away. And it goes back to the government owning it, not some private industry. So I could lose this two-value property if there is some kind of revolutionary activity or outrage of the people in Ireland. So I know at the end of the round, this is going to be here, and it's going to be close to there. So at the moment, I am at risk of losing that if it gets too far to the left. Um, but it's not too bad. I mean, I still would have to move three more spots, which isn't likely unless everyone kind of acted against me. But I could go and increase that outrage marker to the right. Uh, actually, I couldn't do it yet because... Well, actually, hmm. Well, let's see. Let's go on to the other options. Right here, I am also invested in this country. And I have a lead advantage in this country. I have a little bit of investment in that country, and I have no investment in Greece. All right, so the one thing to consider is Ireland. The next thing to consider is um, in Sweden, the marker will move two spots to the right. Now, remember, if this goes all the way to the right and all the way up, everybody who's invested here loses money. So one thing I could do is uh, move this marker here. If I moved it one, two, three spots to the right, this would go one, two, three spots to the right. Then at the end of round two, it would go up two, one, two, and it would be one spot away from uh, essentially wiping out all of White's income level here. So I could try and do that if I want to try and hurt White right off at the beginning of the game. I know that the value of gold and um, guns is going to go down after round three. So I could put my marker here, knowing that whatever it gets to before round three, um, I could be the first to act in buying stuff at the cheaper value once it goes down. Uh, the other catch is, though, I have no gold left. So um, I would not be able to do any kind of bidding for stuff at the round. But if I go first... My first action could be to buy gold and weapons at the current value, which is the cheapest it'll probably be until there, and I would be risking it there. But if I buy it now, I will um, have money to bid on stuff. Uh, the catch to that also is, because I'm the first player, I have the least amount of money to invest in those things. But that's what I'm going to do. So he'll go there. Uh, blue will go the first act. So then it goes to Green's next. Green decides, do I want to go second, third, or fourth? Or be the first player in the second, third, or fourth round. Uh, so same kind of decisions. He's not really worried about an outbreak in Ireland. Uh, main, he doesn't... Oh, that's right. So the plan for Green was to invest in something. So I don't know what Blues is going to do, but I could assume, like, well, I'm secure right now for my investing, but if Blue does buy in more gold, I might have competition in investing in something. So I might want to get rid of, I might want to make my first action spending my gold on something. The thing is, then I might be out of money. So maybe I want to go for a second so I could get gold back into my supply for more bidding. Um, or something like that. That's what he'll do. I don't know if that's the right move to make. Uh, Red is going to try and take advantage of the drop of the price of gold and weapons after round three. However, Red does not 
have any money, so he's not going to be able to do any kind of competition for bidding, but he can play around with some other stuff, leaving no choice to white but to go in spot three. All right, so everyone chooses their things, their spots, so we know, all right, it's first quarter. Everyone's going to secretly choose one of their cards and then at the same time reveal it, and then it'll go um, be revealed in order. It'll be blue, well, blue, and then you just go clockwise. So I'll just go clockwise from blue is that way. So let me pick out their cards. All right, so since blue is first to act, so everybody has their actions selected. So blue is going to reveal this, and blue is going to buy uh, gold and weapons, or gold or weapons, or what have you. So he has $11 to spend. Um, so, let's see, Weapon, the way weapons are used is if this outrage marker gets all the way to here, then there's going to be three outrage cubes or gray cubes added here for outrage. Then each player can contribute more cubes to either the outrage side or to the defense side. And then there's a breakdown for who has the most power, uh, which will determine what happens. Uh, if this side is victorious, then things stay as they are. If this side is victorious, then as I mentioned before, whoever has the highest property ownership, it's they lose it and it's returned back to the uh, government. Uh, so uh, blue is so so. The reason I say that is because maybe blue wants to buy weapons because, like I said, Ireland's going to go down three. Um, and it's still three away, but he might want some weapons to defend that if he wants. But does he really want to just defend two points? Maybe somebody will jump in there for four before it even affects him at this point. And I think he really wants gold, but he could spend all 11 because he could get three gold, which is nine, and then 10, 11 will get him one weapon, or I could save two million for the future. Uh, I think I'm just going to have him buy three gold, so that's nine million. So out of the ten million, he's going to get one million and change, leaving him with two million dollars, and he will take three gold um, cubes or whatever. Yeah. All right. So then, next in turn order is green. Green plays the card where he gets to put an influence somewhere. And then a property gets auctioned off. So unfortunately for him, Blue now has money to, to compete against. If Blue had not done that, nobody had gold, he could bid one piece of gold and get you know, any available property he wants. So now seeing that he has competition, does he want to try and get 7 points, 3 points, 4 points up there, or 12 points up there? White would probably like it if uh, if he went up there because then if there is a ro uh, uprising, white six points are protected and it would be green who's exposed. So that's a risk. And green doesn't have any investment in there, so that's kind of a risk. Uh, so he doesn't have any investment there. He does in these two countries. So who does he want to defend? Well, he knows Ireland's going to be going to the left soon. So maybe he wants to determine between France and Spain. So let's just say he's going to start going into Spain. So he is going to add a marker. Now it gets added to the next column that's available and then on the same row that the pink thing is in. So it's in row five. So he's going to go there. That means green is going to increase his income by five. So he goes up to 10. So now he's in the tiebreaker spot. If he stays there, by the time it gets here, he's going to get $10 million at the end of the year. Now, because uh, they had to take out a loan, they had the country has to now put up something that they own for auction uh, to pay this loan. So they put up the RTV for auction. Anyone can bid. There's only two players available to bid. Green is the tie breaker. He knows blue has three, so... Green knows if he bids three, he's guaranteed to get this. Is Blue willing to do that, or is Blue going to try and get something else somewhere else? He doesn't know. He plays it safe. He bids three, so that would win anything anyway. So those go over there. Green puts his building here. 
green grabs seven points. And that is green's turn. Going over to red. Red is going to move the uh, markers in the government. And the one he's going to move them in was, what did I think here? Um, all right, he was going to move, let's see, next to act first is green. So he'll be second to act. So I think what he was going to do, I think he was going to move, no, it wouldn't have been that one because the marker's not there. Was it Greece? Was it? Hmm. I can't remember where I was going to move it, but let's just say he's going to move it in Spain. Uh, so it's a dollar for each time he moves this. So he knows he's going to be second to act. So if he only moves at one spot, or doesn't know, he didn't want it to go left. He wanted, to, I wanted it to go up. So maybe it was, maybe it was that I was going to do Spain. Okay, I think that's what it was. So he is going to raise Ireland up mm, two spots. Oh, I can't because it needs to be in the red. Nobody's in the red. Man, I misthought that. All right, well, now he's got to do something. So what's he going to do? Um, he probably should have switched government instead. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not what he chose. So, um, who's he going to move? Who's he going to move? Well, I'll just have him move sp Spain, I guess. I'll just have him move Spain. All right. So he's going to spend, uh, not Spain. He's not made a mistake, he's going to try and screw over white. So, he can move the party over one, two spots, meaning this goes over one, two spots. That's going to cost him two million dollars. So there's two million dollars back to the bank. And that is Red's turn. All right, White's turn. White is also going to do movement of the pawns. So, White is going to move, let's see. I think White was going to move Ireland and try and screw over Ireland. Uh, so he can move Ireland one, two, three, four spots to the left. Let's see, it's about, so one, two, three, four. Or not four, he can move it four, he can only move it one. So, sorry, sorry, he's gonna move it one spot to the left, which means this goes, is that what he wanted to do? Why would he do that? That wouldn't be logical. <laughs> I think I might have drawn the wrong card for him too. I think I might have wanted him to create outrage. So instead, well, I guess what he can do is do defense See, I have any reason to move these? Not really. All right, so what he's going to do, he's going to go defensive then. He's going to move this down one spot, which moves this down one spot, meaning that yeah, saves him a little bit of trouble if that's going to uh, go into some kind of a uh, loan wipeout. That costs him $1 million. All right, so that was a very uh, haphazardly played round one. So blue takes back their token. The outrage in Ireland goes three to the left, one, two, three. And then as you might be able to see on here, every other country is going to go to the left once. So France has uh, one level of outrage there. Spain has one level of outrage there. Greece has one level of outrage there. And now these cards that they played cannot be chosen. So I'm just going to take them and set them aside. And now they each choose a new action. And I realize I forgot to adjust this after a blue bot the resources. So I had to move that up. So it's the next round. Green starts off. Green is going to buy 
gold and weapons. So he has one gold and three weapons. Um, so does he want to get weapons maybe to defend his highest property there in case something goes bad? Uh, take a while to get down there. Um, and Spain's token didn't even get drawn for one of those mass drops. So this place is probably not as in threat of some kind of rising up. So what's he got? Let's see. Right now gold costs $3 and weapons cost $3. He has $12. So he could buy for gold if he wants. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to spend that and he's going to get four gold to bid on property if he wants to. All right, so that's his action. Next is red. Red is going to in invest and try and get some money so he could go up on the revenue track there so he could get a better payout. So red is going to invest in Spain because it looks like a pretty secure spot since there's not much outrage revolution going on. That means five um, dollars goes to Spain and now the next property goes up for auction for twelve dollars and there's only two people with money blue green are the only ones and so green would break any ties with blue so green knows if he spends three dollars he'll beat blue so he does that so he spends three of his gold green gets the next spot here. Green goes up 12 points, so 7 to 19. And that was Red's turn. All right, next we have White. White also chose to buy stuff. Now this needed to go up after the last purchase. So now gold costs 4, weapons cost 3. White has $13. He can get three gold for 12. So he'll spend 12, 10 on 12. And All right, and last to act is blue. Blue is going to change a government which will create outrage and the government blue wants to change is Does he want to change Spain or Ireland? He'll change Spain's government. So he will make it so that the pink marker will be able to go up, which will mean more loan money which means this has to go to where the previous major party was. That creates one outrage in Spain. All right, that's the end of his turn. Green takes back his marker. The next event is done. And all of the loan tokens move, oh no, sorry. Greece's loan token moves two spots to the right. So one, two, all right? It's in the final column now. It only needs to go up three to wipe out all of White's loans there, so that's risky. Every other country is going to go um, to the right one spot. So. That token's out of the game, and now White will start the next round after they all select their cards. I'm just going to explain what White's going to do before I do the other ones. And so hopefully I remember this and this is what I do. But White's planning on investing. He is first to act. He has three gold. The only one he's competing with is blue. He, if he invests in uh, Greece, he'll win ties. He'll get 12 points for three gold. Then what will happen is on the next round, red will be first. This is going to go down by two. So even if red's first... Because of turn order, white will be after red. Then white is going to invest... Well, what he was going to do, what I was going to have him do, is invest his money and buy a bunch of weapons to defend his property there. But now I am realizing he doesn't have the money to do that. So does he want to try and increase his income instead? 
to defend. Well, he's going to risk it. But anyway, so that's his plan. And so White's first, as I said, he's going to invest. He is going to invest in... Now, he can only invest for $4 here because the token's in the four column row. So he's going to go there for $4. So White's going to go up to 9 And then there's going to be an auction for a property. Like I said, he has... He's going to bid three because he's tied for blue. That's a guaranteed win, which means he will put one of his buildings here and yellow will go, or uh, white will go up 12 to 18 points. Uh, then after him is blue. Blue is going to invest also. He wants to get some income. We're getting, we're halfway through here. Um, so he's going to invest to get some income. He is going to invest in... Hmm. It's going to invest in France. Yes, so that's going to move his token up 5 to 10. He is now in the lead with most money. He breaks all ties that he's involved in. Uh, let's see. So now this property, the 3, goes up for sale. He only has to compete with green. Does he want to bid two for three points, or does he want to bid less than that and see if he can get it for one, making green spend all of his? Does he think green would spend all of his money? Probably not. Green probably wouldn't spend all he has for three points when he could try and grab a 13 or a 15 or a four. So... Blue's going to bid two. Let's say green bid one. So blue wins it for two. Blue is going to put this there for three. So now he goes up to six points. Green is going to move the parties around. Uh, he is going to move Spain up two. So that's going to cost him... Oh, he doesn't have any money. <laughs> That wasn't very smart. I didn't think about that. So that is a wasted turn for green. He was going to do it so that this could go up there and then he could invest in here and get $9 added to his uh, thing. But he wasn't paying attention. So that's a wasted turn. Nothing happens. Red. Red is going to move his token to the left so he could get some more pawns for the future. He's just going to take one for now. So he will move from the 10 to the 8 there. That will get him one more investment token for the future. Everyone has played their action. White takes this back. Resolving this, gold and weapons go down two. One, two, one, two. I don't know if I adjusted that after the last person who used it, but who knows. All right. Last round of the year, red starts it off. All right, so final round, red is first. Red is going to buy, good, I have money. <laughs> All right, red's gonna buy uh, stuff here. So he wants to get, gold is three, he has 11, so he could get three gold and one weapon and he will do that, so he will spend 11. So three gold and one weapon. Why does he only have three? Did he get one out there? I don't think he did. He should have four, I believe. All right. That was red. Then, next in turn order is white. White is going to try and get some more money for the next round. So he's going to invest in a country. He is not going to invest in Greece because he is afraid he is about to lose all that income. So he's going to finally diversify. He... Uh, is going to invest in good old stable France for five. So he will go from nine to 14. And now there's a privatization of one of Fr France's um, properties for seven points. There is three people who can bid on that for seven points. Blue only has one, so blue would win tiebreakers if everyone bids one. 
Green has two, red has two. Green would get the second tiebreaker if he ties with red. Uh, if that wasn't there, if green and red weren't there, then the tiebreaker would be the income track and green is further up than red, so green would break that tie. So, does red want seven points for three dollars? Because he could lose it for two. Or does he want to... Let's see. Well, he's going to be last as it stands now. And he's played his card. So he's not going to go up on the income track any further. So he's going to be last to place his marker in the next round. So had he not been last, maybe he would not bid on this. So that if he could get the... All right, getting back to this, my uh, memory ran out. <laughs> so I had to uh, clean this up. All right, so what was I doing? All right, so London was going to uh, invest. Okay, so... He is going to invest in, uh, he's going to go in France, stable France. So he's going to put that there. That is going to move him up to the 15 million spot. That means this property is going to go up for bid. Oh, I think that's what I was doing. I think I was determining who was going to do what. Um, all right. So, does he want to bid one? He'll probably be a bid. Does red want to bid two? I think that's what I was explaining. Yeah, I was explaining how, like, if white was there, uh, green would break the ties based on the income track. But green will break ties here. And then, yes, that was the other thing I was explaining. Because red is the cheapest on the income track, you will get the last option to choose there. Meaning, someone could get more money to outbid him. So he's going to go ahead and buckle down and do a guarantee win with three uh, gold pieces. Which will get him that spot and seven points. It takes him up to 11 Leaving the last action for green. Green is going to change the government and create outrage. Green sees white is just the only one there. He's going to try and screw over white. So he's going to change the government so that this goes down there, which will allow this to be moved up. And this will occupy the former spot. Sorry if you didn't see that. Uh, he moved this here. So that if someone moves it up, it'll move this up. And then he moved this here. So if someone moves that to the right, it will also move this up since it's against the wall. So he's double setting up for the collapse of Greece. If that happens, or more likely when that happens, these markers will be removed. So that's 4, 9, oh, 9, 13. 13 million of Greece's income will be wiped out. This will go down to 1 million and he'll have to rebuild uh, up again. So that was the end of Green's turn. Red takes back his marker. Pay out money. So red would get 8 million, green would get 10 million, white would get 14 million, blue would get 15 million. National debt. Every cube moves over one spot. Over one, up one, only two away, over one, over one. Then, restore the governments. If these markers had moved, um, like been on the inside, you just put them back where they should be. So the small one goes back, back to the dot. This will go to the furthest outer ring. Uh, but it looks like all of them are where they should be. That's the only one that would have moved, except um, green moved it already. Then start a new year. Blue would choose where if he wants to go for a second, third, or fourth. Then white would choose. Then green would choose. Then red would choose. You do that again. Uh, so this round, the Greece is uh, rebellion ability will go down. Oh, also because there was a change in government, this needs to go down one. So at the end of round one, if nobody stabilizes or does anything to increase 
the anger, which I don't know that you can increase it. Um, what will end up happening is that will go into the rage section and then soldiers will come to, not soldiers, people will rise up and then it will be a fight to see if this goes or stays. So since white's the only one in there, what could happen is every other player could invest military into the people's uprising, making it impossible for Greece to defend against it, meaning Greece would then lose 12 Greece White would then lose 12 points. So White is on the verge of losing 12 points and 13 of his $14 million in the next round. So Greece is not the most stable country in here. White would have to, in round one, probably use all of his money and build up a massive military to defend that or get a bunch of gold let it fall and then jump back in and buy it up again if he wants to do that anyway that's kind of how it goes 